this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So like always, if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. The only difference between now and most of my projects is I'm not doing it. D Danny is back and she wants to do the project. So come on and say hey Danny. Make sure you get down. So she's going to be doing today's project. It's a special project. It is, she made something for her mom for Christmas and she wanted to make a box to put it in. So we are doing a little gift box. So let's jump right in and we'll tell you what's needed. Okay, we're going to uh, show you what we have today. So we have the uh, red um, folk art. Um, chalk. Chalk. Imperial. Paint. Imperial. Don't forget paint when you say it. Yeah. And then the um, black Ravel chalk, chalk, ah, chalk. chalk ink paint. There you go. Uh, uh, what? It, cardboard box. A, a cardboard box. From? From uh, Dollar Tree. Gems. What color are they? Uh, silver. Clear. Oh, clear. Clear and blue. And where do we get them? From Dollar Tree. Yes. Oh. Uh, Quit shaking. I can't see. <laughs> flower. Stickers. Stickers from uh, Dollar Tree. There you go. Like Sharpie and uh, paint marker. Paint marker from um, Walmart. Yes. Yeah. Or any craft store, you can get this stuff too. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and she's gonna start doing it. All right, y'all, just to let y'all know, if you don't wanna damage your furniture with paint, you can always put something down. They have uh, craft paper at Dollar Tree or a craft store and you can use a glass or wood or wooden or plastic cutting board, just something to keep you from getting the paint on your, or other stuff on your table or whatever. All right, she's gonna go ahead and tell you what she's gonna be doing right now. I'm going to be painting the bottom uh, black. Start that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so this is a great craft, uh, this is a great craft project you can do with a kid. Doesn't cost a lot of money and they can make something to give somebody for a gift or to put a gift in, like she's gonna be doing. I think this is like a two-port gift. What she made and what she's making now. She is focusing on this. <laughs> so they have different shapes and stuff. This was, they had a square one and a circle one at Dollar Tree. You might find a different shape at a different store. But usually any craft store has something like this that you can use to make a gift for somebody. I wouldn't be surprised if after she gets this, her mom doesn't use this as a jewelry box.
Okay, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna go ahead and do the top. Okay, so now I'm painting the <laughs> the um lid black the um lid black. Lid black. Except for where? Except for the inside. And and the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful, Dan. You're gonna get that in the heart. You want you want my advice? Here's what I would tell y'all to do. You've drawn the heart, which I did for her. You start where the heart where the heart is drawn at, and you work your way out. That way, you got it. You got some space. Slow and careful. Exactly. That way the heart's already up next to it. It's already been done. Actually, I got an idea. I'm going to do something for her, y'all. Hold on. Let me do something for you, Danny. I'm going to take and I'm going to outline where I drew in black. I don't want to get too much paint on it because I don't want to mess up. Just slow and steady wins the race on this. And I'll show you what it looks like because I know this is probably covering it. This is going to be a hard thing to do. I don't know how great, how great of a job I did drawing the heart, but she was happy with it, so we're going with it. <laughs> that? Not while I'm doing this, Danny. So you're going to take this brush and you're going to go up against this and just pull that way all the way around, okay? Yeah. Let me show them real quick. Alright, so I outlined the heart in black to make it easier for her. Now she's going to finish painting. All right, y'all, so we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna do the side and then we'll go from there. So now we're going to paint the rim of the lid black. So let's get started. <clears throat>
All right, y'all, while we're waiting for that to dry, she's gonna go ahead and paint the inside of the big one, and she's gonna paint it, what color? Red. All right, so we're gonna move on to that. Okay, so now we're painting the in, inside of the um, bottom box. And she's using, again, she's using Imperial from um, Home Decor a chalk paint and for the black she used ink from Waverly chalk paint just a little reminder So now we're going to paint the inside of the lid red. All right, y'all. It is done. So let it dry. We'll let it dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all. The inside is basically dry. It's dry enough to move on. So she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna paint the heart red. And as you can see, she got some of the black inside the heart area, but that'll be okay. You just paint over it. You know, it's not a big deal. It does not have to be perfect. We are not all machines, perfectionists. I mean, we might be perfectionists, but we're not all machines to do it perfectly. So am I going to like paint the whole heart? Yeah. Okay. That's what you want to do, right? So I'm going to paint the heart red. Yeah. Look, she didn't even start painting yet. She already <laughs> got red on her.
Okay, there is the heart. I think it came out looking good. So I'm going to write the letters in the heart. What are you writing? Uh, D plus M. But y'all could write that bigger. Yeah, uh, I'm not trying to do that. Alright, so she's going to decide how she wanted it to look. We went ahead and put the stuff up. And I went ahead, as you noticed, and we repainted over it and made the letters bigger so that you can see. So I'm going to attempt to glue now. And there you go. That is it done. I will show it to you complete it. Alright y'all, this is, quit moving Danny. You're moving the focus. This is how she wanted it to look. I think it came out really cute. She had a good idea. You can see blue, 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 and then three whites. It's a little hard to see in this lighting. But that's what it is. I think it's really cute and I think her mom's gonna absolutely love it. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, cause if you did, hit that, uh, that. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, cause it helps the channel to go, bye.